dun 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 You know, this wow. is a psalm song. <laughs> you know, this is a psalm outfit. Hi, I'm Kat. And I'm Jay in a box. Jay's in a box, and I'm wearing silly things. There's a tiger in the game, so I found this at the dollar store, and I was like, what? Little Bug Planet 1 was amazing, it rocked my world. Little Bug Planet 2 was really, really good. And and it seems like they're just kind of doing this. Little Bug Planet 3 was cool. There were some really cool additives. It was fun. But it's really not what I was looking for. Anyways, we'll get to that. Let's get into it. Now, as always, if you can hear me out of this box, I can't breathe, but I might not live. But we asked you guys to ask us questions on Twitter and Facebook as usual, so we'll be putting those in the review. I'm talking weird for, like, no reason. Media Molecule didn't do this. They were kind of in a backseat to this game, which I think changed it a bunch, and sadly not for the better. So, let's get to the plot. So, this takes place in Buncum, <laughs> which sounds a lot like Bumcum. Um, and and you I like anal? no, and I feel like they should have maybe thought that through. There were a bunch of things, especially at the beginning. They say the name of that, and they're like, "And here's the pumpinator. It can suck. It can blow. It can fuck." And I turned to your friend, and I was like, "What's going on?" When she it was, was like, "Why is it now sexual?" Planet. Yeah, it was very confusing and I didn't know what was happening. Anyways, what happens is there are these three evil titans that you have to defeat and this guy Newton accidentally does some stuff freeing them so you have to get all these other three characters, the ones you guys heard about, the flying one and the big one and the running one. You need to collect them, free them, play as them so that you can defeat all the titans and win back the heart of creativity. I'm looking down your top, you can't see. Oh, that's lovely. Stephen Fry is back narrating, and the Hugh Laurie is doing Newton's voice, which is the guy who kind of like screws up, so he's kind of the bad guy in it. Uh, that's House, for those of you who don't know. Jay's being very dramatic with his hat. Awesome. Uh, a cool thing about the voiceover, I have to say, is that it goes throughout it. So it's in the cutscenes just like it always was, but instead of when you're in the levels, text used to come up, there's still voiceover happening there, so it's kind of fun that they added that for this, I suppose. Dialogue. Sam Bashford asked, how long is the campaign? So for those of you who care about these kinds of things, I'd say it's about five-ish hours, which is short. Incredibly. Severely short. I really think in this game, they're just thinking you want to do create mode. Also, when you're collecting all the different balls throughout the game, there are a lot less costumes and things like that, and a lot more stuff to build levels, which if you want this game to create is awesome. But if you're like me and you really want to play the levels, it's a little sad. However, that means that all the levels that people create are going to be that much more amazing. And I do look forward to playing those over the next little while. Chris Col Colazzo. Colazzo? Chris Colazzo. Anything new and improved to draw new fans or non-fans from previous games. So people who didn't play the game before, definitely uh, the creation mode is bigger. So if that's something that's appealing to you, like I just said. However, also there are these three new characters. So you can still play a sack boy, and now he can also climb, which is useful. But I mean, we've been seeing that in Mario since forever, so it's not that big of a deal. And then you have these three new characters, and I love the characters, and it's so cool the different abilities that they have. Odd Sock is a four-legged dog-like creature, and uh, he can run faster than Sackboy, and he can jump off walls, which is awesome. I had a great time playing as him, and he's so cute, and I gave him his little but You can make a little cowboy ride him, or you can make him into a tiger, or into a dragon, and he was awesome to play as. And it really adds a lot of dimension when he like jumps on a wall and then runs all the way to the background, and then you have him back there. The the design for that was really cool. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna die. Do you, do you need to take it off? No. Okay. I wanna live in darkness. Of course we do. You were born in the dark. Swoop is the bird-like character, and he can fly freely throughout the level. I thought maybe you're only gonna get like three whoosh, whoosh, out of him, but no, you can just fly throughout the entire level if you want, and he can also pick up things, just like other characters, kind of lighter things, and move those around. And apparently characters as well. I never got to do that in the main campaign. There was never uh, a reason to do it but I'm very excited to try that. Finally, there is Toggle. He comes in two sizes. Toggle can be really big, and then he can weigh down platforms, which is very, very useful in order to continue the levels. And then there's Little Toggle, and he's light and airy, and he can, if you turn into Big Toggle and then into Little Toggle, he bounces up really high, and he can also run on water and run really quick. So very, very useful. It was really fun going in between these characters, and I could see that being super enjoyable in the created levels after this as well. Now, do I need to make a joke about a penis? Right here. Toggle is a penis. Small and then big. 
I guess. Yeah, but he's not penis shaped, so it doesn't feel like it. You don't think of it. It's not like Pumpinator with the sucking and the blowing and the bun cum. All right, fine. Alyssa White asked, is the platforming as floaty as it was in the last game? Yeah, it's exactly the same. The mechanics all look pretty much exactly the same. It's not a heavy game like something like God of War would be. It's still, you can take big leaps and float kind of down. And especially because you have like a bird and stuff now, it's definitely even more floaty than it was before. And same with Little Toggle. He's very floaty as well because he's so lightweight. You know what's fucked up? I was looking for this the other day. Where Where is it? It was in the drawer. Oh, fuck me. You also have the tools, items, or power-ups as they're calling them. So these are the things you collect along the way. For instance, in the last games, they had the Cakeinator, which was really awesome, and the Jetpack and stuff like that. You also you have a wheel this time, so you can decide what you need to use depending on what puzzle you're trying to solve. Let's move over to graphics. We have yet another question in the graphic department. I'm sorry about your name, but I'm about to screw up. Alef Ishara. Alif. Alif. Alif Ishara. Jeez. Why does it look like Little Big Planet 2 graphically? Maybe you feel that way from the commercials, but it actually is better. And uh, 2 was uh, 720, whereas this is 1080, so it graphically is better. The textures look good. I mean, it does look very similar. I'm not gonna lie, pretty similar. Well, you know what it is? What? I'll just chime in here. It's the art design. The art design's not graphically. Uh, you know, demanding, so they didn't really need to change that. They just up some of the textures. So when you zoom in, uh, you really see how detailed some of the textures are on Sackboy. He looks like a sack. Yeah, yeah. No, they looks definitely really did good. a good job with that. He looks great. Hey, I got a question. Why? Why so fucking glitchy? Uh, yeah, it's glitchy as fuck. It's horrible. Multiple times I like jumped into something and then suddenly I was in the middle of nowhere walking on invisible nothingness and then I just like ran into a wall. There's this one part oh, in the level where you're trying to unlock the bird where you hop on this slide and you slide down and every single time before you get to the end of the slide you just fall into it against the thing and then you have to jump out and around. It, there were parts where it's like oh you're supposed to get sucked in this vacuum and then go along here and it would just be like and it would just put you to the other side. It wouldn't even show the animation of you moving around. Glitchy as hell. It was brutal. I don't know. I guess it's because they're dealing with 16 layers, right? Before it was just three layers. Now there's up to 16 layers, which is so cool, but... But holy shit. I got a rant about creation mode at the end of this video. All right. We'll give you that rant, sir. Rob Jackson and Nicolia Fogg. Nicola. 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 For God's sakes. I can't read. I'm just lang lang. Okay, Fog said, is the level design as creative as the other two? Paraphrasing, but they both basically asked this. Yes, the level design is awesome. And because you have these new characters, these new abilities, these new items, tools, or power-ups, really, really cool. Love the level design. Very challenging at the end, which I also love, but it's just so short. The level design in Little Big Plan 3 is the best out of the whole series, mm. but ugh. Why is it so short? So short and so glitchy that it just makes it kind of irritating. The size of your levels you can make in create mode are done by a dynamic thermometer, but it just basically comes down to how much space you have on your hard drive. So the levels can be a lot bigger, which is cool. And also now you can stitch your levels together. So you can make a moon level and you can make a volcano level and then you can stitch them together so that you can have a two level game, which is really neat. So I, again, I want to see all of that. I can't wait to play that. And I think that's where this game will become worth the money because right now I'm just, I'm not sure about that. I have to go on a rant right now about creation mode. Little Big Planet is all about creating, using your imagination to build a level. The problem with this game in lies in the coding itself. When I go into a level and I'm designing it and I spend, I don't know, five fucking hours and all of a sudden it crashes and I lose everything. What the hell is the point of this game then? Next gen is ruined. And this is like the, the cream of the crop. Here's a game about creation and then you lose everything. And I'm not making this up. I actually was fooling around in it. Amazing tools, 16 layers of creation. I was making something so epic with water and space and you can float in space. It was epic. And it literally, for the first time ever, I've ever seen a PS4 game crashed to the main screen of the PS4. Lost everything. Didn't even save it. Oh, no. Uh, God's sakes. I can see the bruise from Far Cry. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> You're fucking two feet from me. I hope yeah, you can see it. Hilarious. So, Peter Patsios? 
Patsios. And. And. General, General fucking G. 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 <laughs> yeah, anyway, shout out to General G. I've watched him forever. He's got to come back to YouTube. Is it, Is worth, it worth $60? 60 dollars? Mm, no. Absolutely no. not. Not at this point in time. If you could get it used uh, or they fix all the glitches, maybe if you want to do create mode. But if no, you're just look, looking for a great campaign, it's worth like $20. I'm going first on the scores here. I give it a 6 out of 10. I always said, and anybody that follows me on Twitter and Facebook and all that shit, you know that I review the disc that comes to me or we get in our hands. I don't review the future versions of patches. I don't look into the future of, hmm, how could they have fixed this? The problem with this game is they don't utilize all the new characters in the main campaign, so you don't really get to use them as much. What? Sometimes you're using them a little bit. I, yeah, really I thought feel... you'd be able to switch between them a lot easier. Like I thought That's... you'd like have the choice and have to be like, okay, who do I need to do this? I didn't think they'd be like, you get this one for this level. Go. No, that's what I'm talking about. There's no levels where you switch to here and in here and it's like intuitive and it's going back and forth between them. It's just like, here's the bird level. Enjoy the bird for like an annoying amount of time. And now here's Toggle. Enjoy him for- Which is why I'm hoping that people will create cool stuff. But yeah, the campaign didn't so, utilize. Sorry. 6.5 out of 10. Some of the things I actually do like about the game, it's the best design levels I've ever seen in Little Big Planet. I love the 16 layers of uh, creation now. Going between them is just as wonky as it was in the first and second one, but some of the tools in this are so amazing to use. Negative side of things, and I'll throw it to her. Holy shit, stop releasing games that don't fucking work. Seriously, I don't even need to. Push it back. Like, if they'd push it Honestly. back until January, my birthday, I would have been totally fine with that if it hadn't been so flipping glitchy. So, the, Sorry. The, my last thought here is I go to the mall, I spend $70. I love the first two games, I want to go online. So, I see, oh, millions of levels from Little Big Planet 2 are online as well. And one. Oh, I'm going to go into them. Oh, they're all full of errors because they didn't know how to code those new levels and upgrade them to the new engine. Oh, great. Oh, let me create a level. Oh, fuck. I lost five hours of work. I'll do it again. No. Just release a fucking game that works. 6.5, and that's just for the creation mode. The The campaign is very weak. There's no soul to it, soul to it unfortunately. Kat, what do you give it? I'm going to have to give it a 7. I give it one step above because... Little Big Planet does have a special place in my heart. Yeah. I did love the You're new asshole. level design. I love the new characters. I thought they were awesome. The new costumes that they had were cool, but where the crap were all the rest of them? They were like, I don't know, like eight or something. They were more than that. But I mean, this one is really geared towards collect as much creation stuff, which is great if you want to create. But I, I and trust me, I, the first Little Big Planet game, I made a crazy level and I loved it. But this time I was really looking forward to the silly costumes and this and that. I mean, now you can buy costumes in the game. A, buy with actual money. But you can also collect these little gold things, little gold orbs, and then buy them from this guy who sounds like Jar Jar Bings, which just, again, what the fuck mm. were you thinking? Didn't you mm. learn from Star Wars? Mm. Do not buy this game right now unless you want to run into errors constantly. Yeah. I would say after Christmas, hopefully they fix it. And, maybe, and if you really, really want to create, and that's your main reason, 100%. If yeah. you want this for a good, long campaign, good luck to you. Now, and the other thing I have to add here is, please, Sony, step in, and all of that fucking DLC that's sitting there worth thousands of dollars, because there's a lot of it, mm. 99 cents for a costume, $2 for a costume, Hey, the game doesn't fucking work. How about you throw us like a hundred dollars worth? Hmm? Or like the people, yeah, the people who got it in the first month, because it's just it's crap. It's crap. It's horrible. Like what? It, uh, and these people, like, I see other reviews saying it's not that bad. It's bad. Like, bad. every level, there's an error. Although, like, I don't know costumes, what to say. Like, you got the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, which is so cool. And I thought there was going to be, like, a really cool level. But you basically just run through a quick level and just grab all the... Well, that's... Okay, things. I give it that. Fine. You grow, you grab all the stuff, and then you can use it. Well, there's but be, guess like, a what? Level. There's, you pay for it, and you think you're going to get the costumes from that title or that nope, franchise they're separate. no you gotta pay a dollar 99 for each and there's four of them thank you for watching the review thank you to cat for doing a lot of the notes because she did the notes this time i was in a box the whole time and i'd like to also thank all the viewers for commenting let us know how we do on the reviews next up is toad magical <gasps> ride actually it's called it. toad tracker or something or other what is it do you know the name? Toad. You the don't Toad Game, and it's just like the one from the Mario game. Uh, anyways, that's a hint. Like it. Okay, bye. Toad Treasure Tracker is coming up. <laughs> bye. Love you. Can you wash that so I can use it? You wash it. It touched your tits. <laughs>